China overnight, a statement from Nike resurfacing over concerns of forced labor. Our Eunice Yoon has been following the story closely as we watch shares of Nike, um, well, off the lows this morning, um, but nonetheless still down 3.5%, Eunice. Yeah, and probably for good reason. You know, here uh, tonight, uh, we are seeing videos of Chinese burning Nike shoes online. Those have been circulating all day today amid calls to boycott the company. Uh, now, Nike has been in the crosshairs today uh, because of what appears to be a past statement from the company, which said that they expressed concern about reports of forced labor in the Muslim area of Xinjiang, this is in the far west, and said that uh, the company had dropped Xinjiang cotton from the supply chain. So Nike is just one of now several companies here that have been facing this type of criticism from the Chinese public. That includes The Gap, Adidas, Fila, New Balance, Uniqlo, as well as Zara. Um, and this all comes after uh, the U.S. as well as other countries in the West sanction Beijing over what they see as mistreatment of the Muslim Uyghurs. So Chinese celebrities have cut ties with Nike. Also uh, tonight, uh, Chinese online have been calling for uh, Chinese sports teams to drop Nike sponsorships. Uh, the good news here is that so far, Nike stores have been open all day. Their products are still available on Alibaba, JD, as well as other sites. And that isn't the case for some of the other international brands. Um, likely good news for Nike, given that uh, China accounts for 23 percent of Nike's brand sales. What I thought was also interesting today was that the Global Times editor, who's quite influential um, of this Communist Party paper, had... Um, said that the Chinese government shouldn't fan these flames, but instead that international brands should go back to their governments and lobby uh, to be able to use Xinjiang cotton. Um, and the reasoning here, and I think what, um, what really highlights, is that um, it's a very complicated game right now uh, for the Chinese because they want to still be seen as welcoming foreign investment. They know it's good for the economy. At the same time, uh, they want foreign companies to play by, to play by China's rules. Guys? Eunice, I, forgive me for being a little confused. I realize we just had this fresh round of, of sanctions. But from what I can tell, I mean, the Nike statement that, that's getting quoted, and I have like a multi-page statement here, this was published on, in November of 2020. Is, is this, why, why Nike, why now? Right. That's the question that everybody's asking, because okay. all of the statements from those companies that I just mentioned, they're all past statements. They're from a year ago, up to a year ago. But but it's just in the past couple of days that suddenly we're seeing them surface online. People are getting really angry about it. Um, you know, more than like 15 actresses and actors dropped Adidas um, because of, of one of their past statements. And so because of the timing of it and because these are all old statements, um, the speculation is that it's all coming after these, uh, you know, countries such as the United States sanction Beijing over Xinjiang cotton and that what China is trying to do is something that we see China do uh, very often, which is try to uh, really attack another country's human rights policies and push back, in this case, on the Biden administration as well as the U.S. allies, by pressuring the companies from those countries. Yeah, speaks to all the geopolitical tests we see afoot and manifesting in many different ways right now with a new administration in the first 100 days, at least here in the U.S. Eunice Yoon, thank you. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.